am here with Major. We're going to give him a butterfly trim, so let's get busy. So I'm going to use a number seven blade on the trunk of the body. Hold still. There we go. And I'm cutting most of this off before the bath because I do not want to have to blow dry all this if I don't have to. And I get a prettier finish many times if I prep with the clippers before the bath and then go back over it after the bath. I'm leaving my pattern lines a little bit higher. So I'm holding the red hair that goes with the ears up out of the way. Taking all the chest hair off. But I'm going to do a lot of that with a longer blade because I don't want it bolded out in the middle here. I also take the back end off. the legs. When setting the chin, I want to keep all the hair from the corner of the eye back. So I'm going to draw all this backwards so that I don't accidentally cut any. Then I'm going to pull the chin hair forward and with a four blade, I'm going to come up underneath. against the grain and take everything off the lower jaw. Amen. With the same four blade, I'm going to take the hair off the chest and go backwards and forwards. I will wait till after the bath to scissor the mustache. All right, buddies. All of that beautiful hair. I am washing him with Igram Squalling Care Shampoo, followed by Igram Squalling Care Conditioner. After the final rinse, I fill each ear with a gentle ear cleansing solution. This loosens debris, removes earwax, and dries out any moisture that may have accumulated in the ears. Next, I wrap him in a nice warm towel and head off to the drying table. I'm using an anti-static spray to lay the hair down after the blow dry.
Now I'm going to go back over him with the seven blade and drop his pattern lines down just a bit. This is his first time being clippered, aside from his ears and the pads of his feet. So he is doing really good. I'm going to drop it back just a hair past his point of rump, skimming off the shoulders. I take the hair off the flank very carefully. It's very easy to nick the flank if you're not careful. It's also important to keep these hair clippings brushed away from the dog as you go to keep the hair clippings from tangling in the longer hair. I drop the front down past the point of shoulder and we'll do the same on the other side. This helps to give the legs more of the flared bell bottom look. It accentuates the flare. That is the whole idea of trimming it back into the flank as well. You notice on most dogs, I take the back leg up towards the last rib. On these styles, I do not. I trim it all the way into the flank. Cleaning out around his testicles. Coming up under the arms very carefully because getting it out from under the arms and from the point of the shoulder creates the flare. And that is why it's important to get the hair off of the chest. Otherwise it gives an optical illusion of more fullness on the front end, which takes away from the flare, from the bell bottoms. Holding the ear hair up out of the way. Gonna clean up the neck. And the throat. Now we're going to trim the pads of his feet. I trim the nails and then smooth them with the nail grinder. I am trimming the tips of his ears with a 15 blade. So I'm going to pick up the foot and take some of the long hair back away from it and then trim from the bottom side anything that falls past the pads.
misting over him again with some coat conditioner. Comb the hair on the legs down and out. And I'm going to round them with some draping on the floor. Not excessive, but enough to be really pretty. It's just like a well done set of curtains should puddle on the floor. You don't have to have the feet this big, but they're really, really pretty if they are. says puddle on the floor. I can do that. I know how to puddle on the floor. I'm an unneutered male. I'm good at puddling. Yeah. <laughs> he has an undocked tail because he's a European import. We're in the United States. Most Yorkies are docked here. So you can see how silky his coat is. That is why I put the Chris Christensen Thick and Thicker into his mustache before I blow dried it. Otherwise, his mustache might be a little too floppy for the hairstyle we're doing. Now we're going to carefully edge out around the ear with the scissors. So for trimming his mustache, we're gonna wanna get all this cheek hair back so there's no mistakes. So I'm going to part it right about where the eye is, the back of the eye. I'm gonna bring what I wanna trim forward. And then this that creates the butterfly wings, we're going to pull back out of the way so no hair accidentally gets trimmed. Now we can see exactly what we need to do. I'm going to come up in an oval shape. Comb the hair down in front of the muzzle. Take my shears and trim just above the bottom lip. Still, I got you. Gonna lift his mustache up and get these dark hairs out of here. A lot of Yorkies have this little bit of dark hair right in the corner. Now combing this up and back, taking my curved shears in between the mustache and the eye and snipping out anything that's going back up towards the eye. Just 
heel. Come up behind the mustache up to the corner of the eye and take it a little deeper there. This is the first time he's ever had his face trimmed like this. So this is all new for him. And I'm trying to leave this piece coming down because that's gonna kind of create eyelashes. The illusion of eyelashes. A little tighter right in behind the mustache because we want to make the mustache pop. That's the whole idea. He says I want to be popping. So now we can drop the ear hair back down and allow that to frame the face. That is so cute. So right on the back of the leg right here, I take my curved shears, go backwards, and cut in just a little bit to make this leg flare even more. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload. I stream live daily, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every day except Sunday and holidays. I also host an Ask a Grummer Question and Answer live stream here on the last Sunday of every month. Be sure to join me. I really appreciate all of my members who are committed to supporting this channel and for those who give to our fundraising efforts for the Southeastern Guide Dogs and Florida Poodle Rescue. Thanks again, guys. See you next time.